First things first, Megan, how are you? I am very well, thank you. How are you? I'm okay. That's thank good. You. Um, well, before we talk about uh, your record and, and the music, I'd like to go back a bit. Is there a first musical memory you had while still living in Port Moresby? Um, well, it's funny actually that uh, we were just speaking about musicals because um, when we lived in Port Moresby, and well done, um, we, my sister and I, we watched a lot of old movie musicals, like um, from the 50s and 60s, yeah. um, MGM, like Rodgers and Hammerstein, right. Judy Garland, Fred Astaire, kind of, you know, and um, f I remember like very vividly um, my sister, who is five years older than me, yeah. she taught me how to, how to play the Papua New Guinean national anthem okay. on the piano and I was five right or maybe four so the anthem goes like this it goes all arise all you sons of this land and there's a bit that goes bum ba ba let us sing of our joy to be free bum ba ba praising God and rejoicing to be bum ba ba Papua New Guinea bum ba ba right and I was the bum ba ba right so she she would play it Dun, 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 and then me, dun, dun, dun. And, that, and that's kind of my first memory of t playing the piano, like knowing, you know, that's my first memory. Being able to distinguish notes. Right, yeah. and having a role, having a right. function, you know, I was the bass. <laughs> I played bass first, you know. Um, yeah, but so. When, when did it develop then? What, was it, uh, wasn't it in, until you uh, went to Brisbane or? Yeah, actually it wasn't really until I left high school. Okay. Um, I, I did music in, I went in my, my last two years of high school to a performing arts school. Mm. Um, and I did music, but only so that I could to do um, like music extension mm. in singing. Right. Um, but never like, I just sort of did all that so I could just like sing basically mm. in this other like you know like special um, thing because you couldn't like you couldn't have extended music without doing you know right, like, right, right. Like music and um, but I was really into like I was a dancer until I was okay. about 17 and 18 probably like you know I wanted to be a dancer and I wanted to be in music I wanted to be Fred Astaire right okay. I wanted, <laughs> Um, all singing, all dancing, um, but that doesn't really exist now unless you're like Hugh Jackman or something. <laughs> so um, I, yeah, I, I, I kind of, I went to the conservatorium because music was the thing, well I told myself that it was because music was the thing that I was the worst at okay. and it would, and if I could get that to be good then I'd be good at everything, you know, but music's very seductive. Mm. And um, I never came out okay. of that particular. Right. Oh, hold it. Okay. Uh, can you move oh. the mic a little bit because it's brushing up against your shirt. Right How's that? Yeah, that's better. Oh. Here. I know. <laughs> This is okay? Yeah, that's better, thank you. Um, so you, 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 you say you were in, in a way seduced by music? Yeah. And, and you went for jazz initially. What about jazz was it that, that uh, struck your interest? Well, I mean, my producer, Sam, he calls me moderate Meg <laughs> as a joke because mm. I can't do anything just a little bit. Mm. So I figured if I'm gonna like study music, I get a jazz degree because at least then I'll know a lot, right? Not everything because you can't know everything, but mm -hmm. I'll know a lot of stuff. And you know, I feel like if you're going to study something, you may as well get the most academic, you know, nutrient-rich uh, yeah. diet, you know. And so I did three years of um, uh, four years of a Bachelor um, of Composition, mm. 
which was great because I was really, really bad at music theory. Okay. Um, and I had to just be, I had to improve. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why, I mean, I don't know, if I had known maybe then that what I was going to be was a songwriter of pop music, I, I don't know if I would have done it again because mm. I feel like I've had to unlearn a lot right. of things that I was, you know. What, what kind of thing? Well, it's, I mean, most specifically, the way that I sang at that time was very perfect and just right. So like very, mm. like really, you know, and there's something about singing pop music where like you kind of want to hear someone's soul right. in their voice. Um, so I had to unlearn a lot of that stuff. Um, also, I think, you know, my, my temptation has always been to over complicate music over egg the pudding mm. as they say you know um so i've been you know i've been i've i have had to unlearn some okay. things but i'm you know but i'm very grateful for that education also because it's meant that i'm able to to do a bunch of other stuff that i probably couldn't do before well i was going to ask is was it something you did because as a, as a vehicle to get somewhere else or did you really enjoy it i can't remember okay um, I don't know if I... I feel like we do everything as a way of getting s mm. to somewhere else, right? Like... I suppose so, yeah. Right. I mean, you can enjoy it along the way, but... Someone said that humans are the only animals that want. You know, like... Mm. And, I mean, I think I was just really aware that you know, it was a shortcoming of mine that I didn't know what I was doing. And mm. I've never really respected those, you know, singers who don't know what they're doing. Like, like oh, it's different. Can you, you know what I mean? I wanted to be able to right, right, right. speak fluently and say, this is my idea and here's how to describe it. And here's what I want to, you know, to have some language to talk, to, to talk right, you know, mm. to be able to accurately talk, about, anyway. So that's kind of why, um, and I fell in love with jazz. I mean, okay. it's, it's 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 incredible music. You know? mm -hmm. But that, that, as you say, then then you had to learn some uh, th uh, things when you started to to forge your own path in a way. Mm. Um, so th th I, I wrote down. Um, it was it was after p playing with Old Man River that that kind of yeah. Because what was it about that relation? Was it, was it, what did he teach you or what was it about that? that well, basically the chronology of what happened was I finished my degree in Brisbane where not that much was sort of happening. Hmm. And I moved to Melbourne and I was working in retail for about, it felt like 15 hmm. years, but it was like six months. And I was 21 and this guy heard that I was a singer and then he looked at my MySpace and then he, a week later he was like to come on tour with me in Europe and I was amazing. But I had never even been around the music industry in this world before. Like I'd been around university and the, the sort of academic music that goes along with my university degree but I'd never been around guitar you know, rock mm. bands. And I got to watch. So it was an invaluable experience because right. I got to see from right here how you do it, how you book shows, how you speak mm. to your manager, how you organize your band, how you, even how you teach your songs to other musicians. Because with my degree, you just write it down and hand out mm. a piece of paper. but. If they don't read music or they're not that sort of musician, like how do you right. how do you teach someone a song if they don't read? And so I, and I was in that band for two years and it was so such a valuable experience that by the time that was over, not only had I lived enough life to feel like I had something to write about, but mm. also I felt confident in the simplicity of my choices. Um, oh no, you're right. Oh. Um, I felt confident in the, yeah, in like my choices and 
I also, you know, I, I'd been on the stage with him for two years singing back up mm -hmm. and I was like hungry enough to right, right. have the energy to to do it, you know. Were you, because you say you finally had lived enough to, to, to write about something, so were you writing songs before that already? Or? Yeah, I was, but they weren't, they were more like, the, the, the kind of genre that they were is something like Laura Marling or Leonard Cohen, okay. like just sort of lists, ranting, just sort of ranting over music, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't pop, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Right. Um, not that there's anything wrong with Laura Marling or Leonard Cohen, but you know, it wasn't, It was kind of very just bleh, mm. you know. There was no editing, right. um, and yeah, like Ohad from Old Man River, he has the really strong, almost Beatles sensibility, very melodic, and I just felt like I was ready. Is the easy answer.